Hey there, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Emily and I do mostly Salesforce tutorials on my channel, but I do sprinkle in some other software tutorials as well. Um, today we're going to be going over how to create a funnel chart component within a Salesforce dashboard. Um, a few things before we get jumping into the component, we do need to be able to see dashboards from here. Um, if you cannot see it, then go to the three by three over here um, underneath the cloud and search for dashboards. You can click on it and it'll take you to the exact same place. From here, you can go to a previously created dashboard. Um, you can search your recently created dashboards um, or search throughout the different folders or create a new dashboard. I'm going to go into test dashboard two because I've created that dashboard for these tutorials. So um, from here, I'm going to go to edit and then click plus component. Um, one thing about the funnel chart is that you do need to have a source report that has a grouping of either row or column. Um, I happen to know the rate matrix report does have this. Um, if you need an example, go ahead. I do have a video on the matrix report. It'll be in the playlist linked down below. Go to matrix report and here it'll show us where we can add our components and choose all the different properties of it. I'm going to go to the funnel chart and as you can see, it is now beautifully displayed in a funnel chart. We can change the values possibly. Um, we can show the different display units. So I'm going to have this be a short number because I don't have a reason with five as the biggest number to be in the thousands or millions. Um, we can color it by the different things like account name, which I think is better for visualization based upon my source report, but feel free to play around with this. If I change it to creator by, it's just going to look like one thing because I'm the only one that's ever created reports in this Salesforce org. So go to account name. Um, we can also show percentages. So um, much like a donut chart would, you can see um, like if five is like 29% of our total record count. We can show decimal places. Um, I'm going to leave it on automatic because um, we're dealing with whole numbers here and not any decimals besides the percentage of the total. Um, we can choose how to sort it by. So if we wanted to sort it by name, we could do that. Um, we can add custom links choose the maximum values displayed. Um, I will go ahead and change the title here to have this be funnel chart. Um, that's the name of the component and I find it is indicative of what I'm trying to show because I'm just showing you how to create the funnel chart component. Um, if you are creating this component for someone in your org who doesn't always have access to ask you questions. It'll be helpful to add a title, a subtitle, possibly even a footer to give them context into the information that they are seeing. Um, you can change the legend position. I, personally, I think it's going to be better on the right, but let's look at the bottom. Yeah, it's going to look better at the right. Um, it really depends on the different type of component and the different type of chart um, as to where the legend looks best. Um, so you can see over here in the background, I have a horizontal stacked bar chart. Um, and for the horizontal stacked bar chart, that's a lot of words. The legend looks best on the bottom. From here, you can change, choose the light um, component theme or the dark component theme. I'm going to keep it as light. And it's going to pop down here at the bottom. A few things that we can do. Um, I just clicked on it. We can size down or size up. It'll be responsive to your sizing. So you'll be able to um, change that around as you please. You can do it sideways or even um, up and down, just however you want to create it. I'm going to move it back to where it was originally. Click save and done. This will take us to view our dashboard with all the components as it is completed with all the data. Um, from here, you can refresh it. So unlike reports, dashboards do not refresh automatically when you log into them. Um, so you will have to hit that refresh button and Salesforce will tell you um, so kindly over here with like a really yellow caution sign. Hey, this hasn't been reported or 
refreshed in like five days. Um, so that's helpful. You can edit it, subscribe, download, save as, new dashboard, or delete. Um, you may have more functionality based upon how extensive your org is, or you may have less functionality. You might not be able to delete it. Um, from here, we can go down and we can look at our source report. If we click on that little link at the bottom, and I find this really helpful um, after visualizing my data and seeing it, I am really curious as to other information, possibly the amount of each opportunity as in this, um, or possibly as to what stage it's all in. I'm gonna hit back and it'll bring us back to here. That is how you create a funnel chart component within Salesforce. Um, this is a part of a bigger series I am doing on my channel about reporting and dashboards. Um, I probably will have 50 videos by the end of this, um, which is a lot. So if you found this helpful, or if you'd like to um, view that playlist, it'll be the first link down in the description box. Be sure to hit the like button. Um, subscribe if you are feeling generous, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.